So lesson, we are going to be looking at regular expressions, adding in a value within the input field and checking to see if this value matches the regular expression. So this regular expression here is the pattern that we're matching. And if results are found, then it's going to return them back within the results array. And we've got a ternary operator checking to see if there are values within the results array, and then we're outputting the value into the console. So if we were to add another character here, and we are looking for only values from zero to three, so if we add in a value of four or any non-number, then we're gonna re return back false. So it's only looking for values of digits from zero, one, two, or three. And that's the only values that are being returned back as true. Open up the HTML file and let's go ahead and we're gonna create an element. And this element is gonna contain both the input field as well as the button. So go ahead and create the input field. And we're gonna create it as type text. And the reason is that we wanna be able to test the content of the input and check to see if it's a valid number. And if we use type number, then we're not gonna be able to enter in text because HTML5 input field will be looking for a numeric value. So let's go ahead and we'll create the input field and we'll also give it a name. So I'm just gonna give it a name of nums for the ID value so that we can select it with the JavaScript code and then add in a button and the button can just say checker. So once you save that, that's gonna output the input field and now we've got a button checker and we're ready to set up the JavaScript code. So let's go ahead and we're gonna connect to the app js file which is on the same directory as the index file and i've got it open within the browser so within the console i'm going to first just test to make sure that it is working properly open up the dev tools console from the browser and go under the console tab and there's our test message so we've got the javascript file ready to go so we want to select the page elements so we're going to select the input that's got an id of numbers and there's also a button, and I'm gonna give this one an ID of BTN, so that way we can select both of them using the ID and select them as objects within JavaScript, so using the document and query selector, select the element using the hash since it's ID, and we're gonna be selecting the element with an ID of numbers, so that's gonna be referencing the input and then we're also gonna select the button and make the button clickable by adding an event to it. So the button and selecting the element with a ID of button. I'll make this slightly larger and then also decrease the size of the browser window. So we want to first add an event listener, uh, an on-click event for the button. And because we're just adding the one event, I'm just gonna use the event handler where we'll set the on-click and then that's going to be invoking a function. So just using an anonymous function, using the arrow format to invoke the function content. So once the button gets clicked, we're going to check to see. And for now, we'll output into the console. And we'll also create a, a variable. And this will just result in a Boolean value. So we'll output that into the console. So now our button should be clickable. And we can also select the value that's contained within the nums. So what we wanted to do is we want to select from a pattern to check to see if there are digits within the input. So let's set up a variable. And I'm just going to call this pat for the pattern. And using the regular expressions, we're going to be using the global flag, so using the G. And then forward slash D and this is gonna indicate that we're looking for numbers within the pattern. We wanna also do a pattern match. So check to see for the results of the pattern using the value. And the input value is gonna be coming from the nums object, and we just need to get the value from the nums object. So checking to see the input value and then returning it back and using the match method in order to match to see if the pattern is valid. And then we can use a ternary operator 
to check to see if results is going to be equal to or not equal to null. So let's see what happens here when we put a value. So it comes back as true. And if we put some text in there, it comes back as false. If there are any numbers, it will come back as true with this match. We'll also output the value of the results into the console. So it's going to be listing out all of the values that's finding as a match. So let's add in some values in there. When we do a checker, so it returns back all of the fives because it only matches the pattern, pulls them out of the string content that's within the input field, returns them as results. And if nothing is found, then the result will be null. And that's where we can get this ternary operator return back a Boolean value for that condition. If we look at what uh, D and we change the lowercase D to an uppercase D. So now it's going to be looking for non digit characters and it's finding four non digit characters. If we add in some numbers, it's going to not look at those. So it's going to come back as true because it is finding results in the uppercase. You can also look for digits directly by looking at the values of 0 to 9 or 0 to 7. You can change these whatever the purpose is, however it's needed, and then any additional characters after there. So that returns back a value of 444. Four, four. Here it breaks apart the two parts of where the digits are being returned back. So returning back a value of the first four, ignoring the characters because we're only looking for the pattern, which are the digits, and then continuing to the rest of the digits and outputting those within an array format. And this is where we're checking to see the results to see if it's true and checking to see if there's a Boolean match for those. Let's update the pattern to match for only numbers. So we make an update here and this is going to be matching the beginning of the input. So using the shift six on most keyboards and then still checking for the numbers from zero to nine. Using the asterisk is a special character that means zero or more occurrences. So add that in to the pattern and the dollar sign will match the end of the input. So update this to match the dollar sign for the end of the input and then forward slash G for global. You can also add an M for multi line and that will create the pattern to be matched. Let's try that out and add in some numbers there. So it comes back as true. Let's add in a combination of digits and numbers. So it comes back as false. Let's also update this to have numbers from zero to three. So it comes back as true. If we add in a four, it comes back as false because it's no longer matching the pattern and the result is being null, which is then output as a Boolean value from the ternary operator. So these are some of the options that you have for checking to see numeric patterns and digits within the input field of your HTML page using JavaScript and regex.